Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War fatal error crash that's occurring on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing here would be to open up the Start menu, type in Power Options, Best result should come back with power and sleep settings. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Scroll down on the right panel and then underneath related settings, select additional power settings. You want to set high performance as your custom power plan here. Please note it will use more laptop battery power if you're using a laptop. Probably a little bit more power too if you're using a desktop as well, but generally you won't notice it as much. But you want to set that to the high performance, especially when playing Call of Duty. Close out of here. Another thing you can go ahead and do would be to open up the start menu again. Type in performance. Select adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. So go ahead and left click on that. Select adjust for best performance. And then select apply and OK. Another thing, go ahead and open up the star menu, type in services. Best match should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and open that up. You want to scroll down to the sys main service here and double click on it. If service status is running, you want to go ahead and stop it and set startup type to disabled. Select apply and OK. As for the performance settings that we changed visually with the last step, you can always revert it back after you're done playing the game or you could just you know customize it a bit so you don't notice it as much as some of the graphical stuff but you should notice a decent improvement in computer performance by doing that so again pretty straightforward one further thing you can try here would be to open up the star menu type in device manager best result should come back with device manager go ahead and open that up you want to expand the display adapter section up here at the top Right click on whatever display adapter is listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the more specific one to your manufacturer otherwise if there's only one option for example you can select the generic driver. And then once you've made your selection select next. Once that's done close out of here. Restart your computer and then attempt to relaunch the game and hopefully at that point your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.